What if I told you there was a way to make a gun from scratch just by pushing a button? The technology is called 3D printing, and it's kind of a big deal, like possibly change the world big deal. Housing problems? A company in China 3D printed 10 concrete houses in one day. Medicine? 3D printed prosthetics are dramatically reducing the cost and time it takes to get a new limb. Just plain bored? 3D print your own bobblehead. Then there's a more controversial and potentially dangerous stuff, like 3D printed guns. Yep, it's possible to create a fully functioning gun using a 3D printer. Traditional gun making methods require expensive, specialized tools and a high degree of skill. 3D printing, on the other hand, throws all that out the window, making it easier and cheaper for almost anyone to make a gun. Some lawmakers who want to regulate guns worry that 3D printing will put more of them on the street, adding to an already big problem in the US, gun violence. According to the CDC, in 2015 alone, over 36,000 people were killed by a gun. Those lawmakers are in a tricky position though, because 3D printing a gun currently doesn't break any laws. Making a gun yourself, no matter how you make it, has actually always been legal. Simply put, 3D printed guns are a new technology that's evolving faster than lawmakers know how to deal with. So, do gun laws need to change to keep up with this new technology? First, a little background on gun laws in the US. The major federal law that restricts gun ownership is age limits. With a few exceptions, if you're under 18, you cannot legally possess a handgun. For long guns like shotguns or rifles, there is no federal age limit, but depending on where you live, there may be additional state or local laws. New York State, for example, requires you to be at least 21 to have a handgun. In New York City, you have to be at least 21 to have any type of gun. When it comes to homemade guns, they're only legal if they're for your own personal use and you don't sell or give them to anyone else. Law enforcement calls them ghost guns because they're hard to trace. There's no record or serial number, so if the gun is ever used in a crime, there's no way to trace it back to the owner. And because the gun wasn't bought from a licensed seller, the owner doesn't need a background check. Okay, so how can a 3D printer make a gun that can actually fire? Meet Cody Wilson. This is an alternative way of manufacturing things, and it really takes out almost all expert required knowledge. Um, the, the model is already in software. You can download it. If you have the machine, you just tell the machine to make it, then you have it. In 2013, when Cody was just 25, he built the world's first fully 3D printed gun. He calls it the Liberator, and it's made almost entirely of plastic. We were curious how hard it actually is to 3D print a gun, so we went to a 3D printing shop to find out. Here's how a 3D printer works. You start with a digital design file of a 3D object. The 3D printer then takes this file and makes a real-world copy of it by adding layer on top of layer. The most common type of 3D printer uses hot liquefied plastic that eventually cools and hardens. We asked Ryan to 3D print the Liberator gun for us. It prints out in pieces, and after a nine-hour print job, we had them all. Okay, so we actually put this thing together. It was pretty tricky. And now we're gonna go to a local gun expert and see what he has to say. So Nathan, we wanna know if this 3D printed gun that we made would actually work. Well, I have never actually seen one of these, so if you were going to make this into a functioning firearm, you would have to spend some time cleaning up some of the imperfections with the 3D printing. There goes all my hopes for the Liberator. It's not that you guys did a bad job on it, it's just that that's the nature of the beast with this. It is not meant for prolonged fire, basically. It's meant to shoot once or twice, and that's it. Overall, how close were we to getting it in a state where you could still shoot it, even once or twice? Very close, in my opinion. So it was pretty easy to 3D print a gun, and maybe putting it together was a little more tricky. But are these guns actually being used out there in the real world? Police conducting a drug bust all the way in Australia found one of Cody's Liberator guns. In Arizona, Border Patrol agents recently confiscated an assault rifle that was modified using a 3D printer. Now, lawmakers in cities and states across the country are struggling to figure out how they should deal with 3D printed guns. Philadelphia was concerned that 3D printing would put more guns on the street. 
so it became the first and only city to outright ban them. And more recently, California passed a law requiring anyone who makes a homemade gun to apply for a serial number and pass a background check. That law goes into effect in January 2018. Everywhere else in the country, 3D printing a gun is still largely unregulated. So now we want to hear from you. Should federal and state gun laws change to reflect this new technology? Or are the laws as we have them now just fine? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you all next time.